There are boaters all over North America who enjoy different type of boating. Saltwater, freshwater, big water, small water, and every region kind of has its own popular style of boat to fit their needs. Here in the Georgian Bay area, you'll see quite a few Stanley boats. Now they're a heavy duty aluminum boat, really rugged, used for everything from police boats and search and rescue to construction. And people that have island cottages here where there's a lot of rocks, they're very popular. But Connor Industries, which makes Stanley, has listened to their customers who say they want something rugged, but a little more refined. So for 2018, they've introduced this, the Lighthouse line of boats. It has all that heavy duty aluminum Stanley DNA in the hull, but on board, you have a little more fit and finish, and it's a little more refined. And measuring in at 26 feet, four inches long and nine and a half feet wide, the 264 SF has a hard top and a three quarter enclosure. With twin 200 horsepower Yamahas and a rugged aluminum hull, this is a heavy duty machine, but outfitted with style and comfort up front. The hard top has speakers and lights inset, covering the four permanent seats, which are color matched to the hull. Even the footrests for the passenger and captain seat are styled with branded sea deck flooring, while the helm has a rugged but well laid out look. With dual rows of rocker switches for ease of control, Yamaha command link and fusion stereo, and some nice real estate up here to customize with your preferred electronics package. And so you can run in any weather, there are dual windshield wipers. So along with the big side windows that can slide open to let some of the air in, right above the captain seat, you have a nice hatch that can open up, get a little more breeze. I'd like to see a shade that you can put on here because for us fair-skinned individuals, even that is a lot of sun. But even though you're nice and secure, lots of air, lots of light, you don't feel like you're trapped. Your possessions can be trapped and secured though under the seats or in one of the large, and I mean very large, drawers in the seat bases. And of course there's also a decent sized in-floor compartment. So the 264 SF, that stands for sport fish and as you can see from the rocket launchers, ready for some serious fishing here. And you got rod holders all the way around the boat. You've got giant live well for your trophy catch. Smaller one beside it, great for bait, storage down below, and lots of room to work. But it's also a comfy cruiser, as you can see. And there's no dead space back here. Simply fold this out, solid seating for two. And your rods have three storage spots per side while you're running. For even more relaxation, there's the cuddy cabin with a skylight vent, more color matched seating in the V berth. and a roomy head compartment with pump out. When you hit the throttles, this nearly 6,000 pound lighthouse slides gracefully on the plane with very little bow rise. And it has a, su and it has a surprisingly light feel, zipping along happily anywhere in the 30 to 40 miles per hour range. And I'll admit, I was impressed with how well this bit the water and cut into tight turns. So much so that I probably did too many and waked out our camera boat a few times. And even though this is partially enclosed on the sport fish, having the uh, screens here and the slide open side windows, you get a surprising amount of breeze coming through because as much as you want protection from the cold, you want reprieve from the heat, and you can control how much, always nice. With a top speed of 53 miles per hour, the brand new Lighthouse 264 SF will get you where you want to go quickly. The new entry from Connor Industries takes all of that rugged Stanley DNA and does more than just slap a fresh coat of paint on it. They've thought this out and come up with a boat that really is comfortable for the recreational boater.